Ready to Love Season 5, Episode 5, and I'm calling this the Boot Camp Edition. We start off with um, the eliminations. So Demetrius like, AP, Precious, front and center. Lord, is he about to tell him to drop and give him 50? AP, we feel that you're not over your husband yet. <laughs> Then it says, Precious, we feel that um, you still want to be in the club and men are past that. Lie. See, this is why Precious is the way she is now, because they're lying to her. And what she really needs is some tough love and some brutal honesty. Truth is, you're too assertive and you talk about sex too much. So in the end, AP goes home. And AP said, that's fine. I'll go home. But I'm devastated. Go on home and celebrate. We know you laughing and turning up the music in your car when you drive away. Now here's Precious thinking what she needs to do is she needs to prove herself and let men know she, she's not all about the club. It ain't the venue. It ain't the venue, Precious. The venue is not the problem. It's your conversation that's the problem. Then Laverne gets messy. Come on, let's play truth or dare. Truth or dare? Shoot, we ain't in high school or college. The next dare was for, jo was for Sabrina. And the dare was go over and nibble on the ear of the person who's like, you know, the top on your list. So anyway, of course, she walks around like it's a real decision. She know it ain't no real decision. Tori over there looking all sad because she ain't nowhere in the vicinity. You remember, remember when we used to play that game? Hot, cold, you getting hot, you getting hot, you getting hot. I mean, Sabrina was so far away from Tori. He was like, he know he ain't hot. And in the end, that's exactly where she landed, nibbling on his ear and poor Tori's face looked like he lost his best friend and then a said truth or dare to demetrius you know go over and kiss the person who's your top and of course he went right on over to sabrina and tori was like i had enough of this fuck this i'm, <laughs> I'm getting up he i told you sabrina's just using tori let me tell you who's tori is to sabrina i told you sabrina's all corporate zoom calls corporate corporate conference calls that's who she is that's how she conducts her dates that's how she conducts her conversations and you know who tori is Tori's the guy that after she goes to a corporate dinner and she's hot and horny, she calls up Tori and that's the one she wrestles in the bed with. Demetrius is the one that she takes to the corporate dinner. You getting it out? You getting the difference between the two? Demetrius is the one she takes out. He's debonair. He's refined. He's sophisticated. That's the one she takes out in public. Tori's the one that she closes the door and gets in the bed with and, and bumps and grinds with. That's why she likes Tori. So next thing you know, Sabrina got to have a board meeting. I mean, a um, date, you know, it's like a board meeting with uh, Tori to clean up, to do damage control and what she did with them kisses and then nibbling on the ear and everything. She did it professionally. But you know what? Sabrina has no warmth. Everything is business with her. That's why she was so afraid of Paul about his business personality, because she knows she's all business. Sabrina really isn't any fun. Tell me the last time you saw Sabrina have some fun and that date she planned on the tour bus going to look at the Washington Monuments. That don't count because that was not fun. That was educational. But Tori was like, listen, I need to know what the truth is. You don't need to be hiding the truth for me. I don't want to be playing no guessing game and I'm not going to be playing second fiddle to no man. You second choice and you're going to be second choice unless Demetrius falls out of first place. Tina decides she's going to come over and she's going to talk to him. He started talking about uh, he's from the South. Gary, Ind Gary, Indiana is not from the South, uh, Laverne. What are you talking about? Then he starts talking about uh, his same old little line about Gary, in in Indiana. You know who's from G Gary, Indiana? The, the king of R&B, the king of R&B. I'm like, who is that? Bobby Brown, like Whitney Houston said? King of R&B. He's talking about Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson is not the king of R&B. He's the king of pop. So in the, in the end, Laverne and La, Laverne and Wiley were on the bus. So she goes ahead. She starts talking to Laverne and talk about how people think he's like a borderline narcissist. <laughs> you see, Precious can dish the truth because she was dishing the truth to Laverne. So you guys need to believe that she can receive the truth. If she can dish it, she should be able to take it. After Laverne, after, but after Precious said that to Laverne, boy, he let loose on her. He said, you know what? You want me to be open and vulnerable, but I'm not going to be open and vulnerable because I don't trust none of you people. He said, you haven't earned my trust. You've been manipulative. And when I, when I figure, when I figure out that you earned my trust then I give you my trust. But then the kid had the conversation with Wiley like he was her, her little son or her nephew or something talking about if you want a woman, you need to go after him. Well, that isn't how you guys treat the other men. You don't wait for the men to go after you. Uh, the other men to go after you. You guys go after the men. So Wiley was just doing what he, what he has 
sat back and observed. And that is the men don't have to do anything that the women, when they want you, they come after you. See what you done taught. Anyway, Wiley went home. I like Wiley. Wiley, you're going to find your match somewhere else. It definitely ain't on, on this show. These women is too old for you. You need to drop back down to the 30s. Anyway, that's it, y'all. Talk to you later. Bye.